What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE action figure setup, and it is Christmas time. Merry Christmas, everybody, and welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, man, we are back with the Christmas setup, and I gotta be honest with you, this is this is an epic one. This is one that I'm really excited about. Now, I do apologize for no upload on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, but I figured we'd come back after Christmas Day with an epic WWE action figure setup, and I think you guys are gonna get a kick out of it. If you don't really care for the setups, just look at the detail. I think that the amount of detail in this setup is really where it's at. Mattel, bring me in for Access or Comic-Con or something, and let me help you do the setup. I would love that. That would be wonderful. They're not watching, but I can dream. Nonetheless, man, let's start off over here in the corner, and we'll bring you guys all the way around. So starting off over here, man, we do have some catering or some food set up. Somebody left a slice right here just chilling over the edge of the table, so they're going to get arrested for that. But you got some little olives and, like, little finger foods and stuff. You got a couple pizzas right here. That pizza over there, you know, it's Jack, so it's a bit crazy. But you got some reefs on display. Kind of helps the setup there. Not anything super crazy, but if you come right here, man, you have Brock Lesnar with his giant turkey leg looking like an absolute unit, and he must have gotten broken brand new white jogging pants or training pants right here so he's looking really good i hope we get an elite brock with some pants like that if we don't i guess i can do a fix up but we also have all of our christmas wrapping paper i'm sure a lot of you guys experienced this over the last couple days everybody opening their gifts and there's just endless amounts of wrapping paper just shredded up everywhere on the ground you know it kind of drives me nuts when everybody's opening their gifts but i try to keep it you know all, all wrapped up and contained but there's brock lesnar right there he's got his training pants and he also has this brand new camo vest that that Santa brought him. So he's, he's looking good right there. That's the Braun Strowman vest. Wanted to see what that looked like on maybe his ultimate, just to see what it looks like. And you guys know we got that flannel Brock from the Amazon 3-pack. I haven't received mine yet, but that'll probably look good on there as well. But this Brock is looking like a beast. Now this right here may be part of, like, maybe my favorite part of the whole setup. Look at the catering setup. You got gingerbread men in here. You got some extra bread over there. You got the milk on ice, some extra half gallons of milk. And you got some cups, some pancakes, candy canes, all wrapped up with the wreaths. I mean, we're looking good up here man great looking catering setup right here we also have some little mini trees over there as part of the christmas tree setup we'll get into a minute but right here we have alexa bliss showing off her brand new handbag or whatever thought that was pretty nice right there i think it fits the black matches with the attire you got everything going on you got lily down here was well, gonna say a brand new lily but i don't think she really wants anything to do with that so i just have alexa bliss here with her handbag looking pretty good when we come over here roman reigns looks to be super hyped almost like you know when mom makes pizza rolls we got a brand new roman gauntlet for him he can get rid of the red and feature the blue next time so he's pretty hyped about that he's excited for his brand new gauntlets that he can wear there so he's sitting in the chair he's got his wrapping paper all over the place we have our miniature christmas rug in the middle i just think it adds to the festivities you know it kind of wraps the whole thing up i wish it was like big and circular but we'll take the little mini rectangular rug right there and we come to the middle front we do have matt riddle excited he's got his brand new scooter that santa brought him and a brand new pair of slides he's got the white ones here and then he also has his scooter of course and he's got matt riddle just chilling right there so he's He's hyped about that. If anybody got a motorized or a cool vehicle, you know, golf carts, scooters, skateboards, anything down in the comment section below, let me know. Coming back to the money zone right here, man. I almost did a full figure review on this figure, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. But we have the, I don't remember the name of the studio, but I know that it's like the Naughty or Nice Santa Claus action figure. I pre-ordered this over a year ago, and now it is here, and it looks fantastic, man. You, you got some great sculpts going on, the belt, the coat. He even comes with some great accessories. He's got his plate of cookies. He's He's got his glass of milk in hand, and then he does have his Santa's hat. Little white marker on there, but you know, it's not too big. He's got a great big beard. He's articulated. He's got some good stuff going on. He comes with a list over here, and he does have some extra gingerbread men down here on a plate. Those didn't come with the figure. I just think it looks awesome. So Santa Claus is featured in the setup, and then he's right next to the beautiful Christmas tree now. I think I got this Christmas tree from Hobby Lobby or Michael's. They had a big, I think I went in there like maybe a day or two after Christmas one year, and they had this miniature Christmas tree just laying there. Uh, as a part of their setup and I said yo can I buy this tree and they said it's not for sale it's just something for display you can have it and I was like well thank you Jesus what a blessing so I just took it as a blessing there and I wrapped it up with Christmas lights and now I use it every year in my Christmas setups because it's a pretty good scale with WWE action figures so I have that and then we have all these gifts wrapped up right here you got boxes of gifts and presents and all that stuff wrapped around the tree and then I just have a little mini red rug that I cut out of some fabric from Hobby Lobby and it, it makes for a nice looking Santa setup there so so that 
makes me happy. And then you do have the Santa sack over there in the back with more goodies in there. But Santa wraps up the full. He's the he's kind of the centerpiece of the setup. Thought it looked pretty good there, so we have him there. I'm going to slide Matt Riddle over to the left here so we can showcase probably my second favorite part of the setup, which is going to be Corbin's face. Look at him. He's so sad. He's got, you know, the ketchup stain there. But if you look inside of his gift, he got the most brutal gift of all. Not a damn thing. So Corbin's upset about that. He doesn't have a gift, and he's sitting in his chair there, and I'm here for it, of course. You gotta have myself represented. The haircut's not accurate. Obviously, my hair's, you know, I don't style my hair anymore, but I'm sipping my, I, I don't know what the hell, I guess Coke, but, uh, you know, I don't drink the calories. We only eat our calories, so it's probably a Diet Coke or a Coke Zero or something, but I'm looking good in my pink jacket. And then we have the goat right here who has some brand new sneakers right here, so he's got a brand new pair of kicks. John Cena's happy about that. He's looking good sitting in his chair there. Got the top talent Cena there. And then if we move it over, we have the new Elite 98 Randy Orton, and he's kind of bummed out. He got a brand new Matt Riddle shirt, and he doesn't look that excited for it. Maybe some seeds planted for the future, but Randy Orton's looking good with his Matt Riddle t-shirt there. Seth Rollins is over here. He's got a brand new coat. He put it over his suit jacket. He's got his full suit get up in pink, and then he does have his brand new fur coat there looking pretty good. I like it. I actually like the coat over the suit jacket. It kind of wraps it up and makes it more schmancy, so he's looking pretty good there. He's got, you know, all, all the wrapping paper, of course, and then we come over here. We got another suited body. He's got his winter coat on. It is cold outside. Probably the coldest winter for everybody or Christmas ever in the last couple days with all the craziness and the weather. But Cody Rhodes has a new weight belt here. And, you know, he's throwing up the, the one there. And I guess it could be a loser sign. But throwing up the number one, he's got a brand new weight belt he's excited about. And then the last gift that we have is going to be Hurricane, who has a brand new cape. So Hurricane has a brand new cape here. Wrapping paper again everywhere. And, uh, yeah, Hurricane's enjoying his new cape. But I had a lot of fun with this setup, man. I would love to know down in the comment section below what you guys are thinking. You know, I think we did... I can't remember if we did one of these last year, but I know that we did one before, and I don't remember if Santa Claus was represented. That's that's the main reason I bought that figure or pre-ordered that Santa Claus figure a year ago on B Big Bad Toy Store is because I wanted to have a Santa that was in scale with WWE figures for, you know, festive videos on the channel, different things we want to do around here, and I think it really completes the setup. I used to have a throne, and I don't know what happened to the throne. Couldn't find it. It took me forever to get all these accessories from out under my table. This video took a little bit to make, just trying to find all the accessories and stuff, but I think it was worth it in the end. I think it looks great, so leave a like just for the attention to detail there, but I want to know down in the comment section below what you guys ended up getting for Christmas. I didn't really get a lot of figure-related stuff this year. I did get some seats to Monday Night Raw that I'm excited about. I'll probably vlog that experience possibly for you guys. So if you guys are going to Monday Night Raw in Birmingham in a couple weeks, definitely uh, look for me there, but outside of that, I really just got a Luka Don figure and that's pretty much the only action figure I think I got for Christmas this year I didn't really ask for any you know WWE or AEW action figures so I guess my family and just realizes that you know I'm getting them all year could have filled some holes in the collection but you know what for me it was a it was a great holiday a great blessing and I hope you guys did enjoy your Christmas as well but I'm getting out of here man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy the setup leave me your thoughts on the setup down in the comment section below and I would also love to know what your favorite gift was this year but I'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel have a blessed day have a merry Christmas or I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll see you guys in the next video.